And we are back live here the ES here on ESPN2 and across streaming platforms. It's the Madden NFL 21 Club Championship game. The largest first prize in Madden Championship history will go to one of these two players. The Detroit Lions champ, Jay Wall, taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Club champ, Pavin, for a belt and a 150. $1,000. Let's kick this one off inside Pizza Hut Stadium. The first ever virtual stadium rights deal is here for the Madden Championship Series. It is Jay Wall with the ball first. TD, taking a look at the tail of the tape, how these guys match up. Look at those win percentages online. These guys played a lot of games, and guess what? They won just about as many as they played. Such an equal matchup, same record, same win percentage, basically same points per, close to same points allowed. These two deserve to be in this spot from the AFC and the NFC. These guys have performed the best, and here they are for the Grand Championship. Belt on the line, a big battle. Nick Pazesco, Tyler Davis with the Atini. Before we get too far, let's take a look at our keys to the game for Jay Wall. He's got to find the big play. Yeah, when you get this far in the tournament, it's tough. Everyone knows what you want to do. You got to find that big play to get some easy offense to help yourself out. Second down at eight as Jaywell comes out on offense. He's running the trips tight end formation. Three wide receivers over the left side, one tight end on the right side of that formation. It is Terry McLaurin in motion on second and eight. He'll throw this one away. For the people watching at home for the first time, this is played on Madden Ultimate Team uh, mode as uh, you're going to see stars from today, from the past, all on the field together in this 11-11 format. No doubt about it. That's the beauty of Madden Ultimate Team. You're going to see Jay Wall, Pavin mix up some legends. You see Jay Wall. He's running this trips tight end formation. He's got Rich Gannon at quarterback, the legend. Barry Sanders in the backfield. He's got some weapons at receiver like Terry McLaurin. So you guys see that really mix it out, mix it up. Then you got Randy Moss out there as well, who's been making some big plays for both these guys. Tyler, which playbooks are these guys in? So Jay Wall's in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook, which is interesting because uh -huh. he's playing Pavin. <laughs> And then you're going to see Pavin when he's on offense. He'll be in the New York Jets offensive playbook. Third and 13. Big third down early. Get it back to pass. Looking up the seam. There's Steve Smith, the longtime Carolina Panther, picking up a first down for the Lions Club champ. Steve Smith is so good at this point in the Madden season. He's got that playmaker ability, so he's allowed to, you can flick the right stick up, gets that playmaker up the field, gets a nice catch to Steve Smith to, to convert for a first down. It allows the quarterback to really direct traffic. First and 10 will go to the ground game. Cut back for Barry Sanders, trying to make some moves. A good tackle on the edge by Pavin's defense. Great stick work by Jay Wall. That run has been a staple in his offense throughout the entire tournament. Goes to it right there to pick up a nice seven yards. Second down and three. Back to the ground game. Former Oklahoma State Cowboy Barry Sanders continues rumbling in the Honolulu Blue. I really like the game plan right now by Jay Wall. He's known as a passer, both these guys are, but he's staying balanced, committing to that ground game, keeping Pavin off balance. Already near midfield. Again, a back to pass, and there's a shed on the outside. First sack of the game, Lawrence Taylor made quick work of the tackle. One of the legends in the game, year in and year out, Lawrence Taylor with the block shed, gets home for the sack, and now he forces Jay Wall into a difficult second and 20. Randy Moss wide right, McLaurin in motion over to the left side. Steve Smith tight to the formation on the right side. Yeah, look, once again right up the seam, it's Steve Smith. He is going to maybe be the key player for Jay Wall's offense to move against a very good defensive player. Yeah, he's no doubt Jay Wall's biggest playmaker. Pavin bringing some heat right there, bringing the blitz. Jay Wall stressing the middle of the field, stressing the user, had a nice little route combo. Third and three. Ooh, there's that curl route. 84, Randy Moss with the catch. We talk about crews in the game of Madden. These are guys that they practice with, they devise game plans with. TNC, the crew that J-Wall's with, loves those curl routes. Great point, Nick. They love that curl route. They throw with a low pass, click on, make a possession catch. They're able to convert. J-Wall going back to the ground game. I like the call, but this time, Pavin was ready for it. J-Wall had to go through a gauntlet in the NFC North, had a tough game against the Vikings club champion, Poison fought through one of his own crewmates to get here in fancy. And now he is battling for a belt as Sanders picks up five. 
Yeah, and this game just has that big money matchup feel. Both these guys are battle tested. Both these guys thrive under pressure as well. Pavin's been doing it for years. J Wall this year especially has really thrived. He's had some big clutch drives. Both these guys ready for this moment. Third and five. Gannon stepping left. He'll look left. That's Steve Smith. It's going to be a fourth and one. And this isn't like your NFL. You're going to see these players be aggressive in short yarded situations. Yeah, but this is a big decision here. You're in field goal range. Points are going to be critical with how well these guys know each other and how good defense is. But J Wall going to go aggressive. He's going to gamble and he's going to go for it. Here we go. Big time play. From the 31 yard line. Fourth down and one, trips tight end. He's got Darren Waller, the lone tight end of that formation. Rich Gannon, former Viking, former Oakland Raider at quarterback. Pavin will take a timeout. Didn't like how his defense was set up. We'll see if that changes the game plan for Jay Wall. Good call right there. You can't take him with you into halftime. Use it, get your defense set up. It's a big play in the game. Battle on the virtual gridiron for the largest prize pool and first prize. In MCS history, Gannon on fourth and one, steps up, low ball, and scary Terry McLaurin with a clutch catch for Jay Wall. Those were some tight windows. That was really good defense by Pavin, but better offense by Jay Wall. He had a drag slant combo. Both of them were pretty tight, but he's able to throw that low pass into the slant route to convert. That was big. Fourth and one, and he gets it. We'll head to the second quarter, still scoreless, but Jay Wall nearing the red zone. Barry Sanders bounces off a tackle. He'll get to the 21. Now let's talk about this TNC crew that Jay Wall is with. They've really stormed the Madden community. Look, think about how many people they had competing in this tournament and how far they went. Yeah, of course, you know, we're, we're up in 32 NFL teams here. Thousands of people qualified for this. Then on that whole NFC side, it was basically the TNC crew. We saw the Jay Wall with the Lions. We saw Fancy with the Cowboys, D. Croft with the Seahawks. So that crew really took over this year in Madden 21. But Jay Wall was the guy that prevailed. And here he is in the championship. D. Croft, the Seahawks club champ, got to the final eight. Fancy got to the final four. And they have Jay Wall here in the final. It's pretty good company to be in the lab devising game plans with plenty of success here in the Madden NFL 21 Club Championship. First and 10 for Jay Wall. Three wide set, first time we've seen him in this single back formation. And he will take one of his first half timeouts. Yeah, both guys using them early. I, I don't mind it at all. You know, as long as you don't use them in the second half. The second half, when you use those timeouts, it can be critical. But first half, make sure you're in the right alignment. Make sure everything's correct so you can get a nice play. Shout out to our guy, It's a Blitz, on Twitter using that hashtag Madden Club Championship. It says, glad I invested in J-Wall. Tonight's the night. It goes to the moon. J-Wall, take it home, bro. See if he can't cash in on this drive like lots of people were cashing in on GameStop. First and 10. Gannon back to pass in trouble. Oh, the throw out of sack still finds it, its way to Steve Smith. A good break there for J-Wall. Scary play right there. Pavin brought the heat. J-Wall gets it off to the playmaker, catches it. And to that tweet, you know, Jay Wall, if he was a stock, he's a guy you want to invest in. This guy's been on a tear this whole season. Remember, he just won that $25,000 in the collegiate level next tournament. And here he is in the championship of the club finals for the biggest. This is the biggest tournament in Madden history. This is the biggest first place prize in Madden history. Jay Wall has a chance to really cement his legacy. Second eight, that's Bo Jackson, former number one overall pick back in 86. He'll lose a yard, third and 11 tie the red zone so tough to score on here in Madden 21 yep and we talked about it in our in our keys to the game that red zone is so difficult to try to be able to score and, and it gets tight down here Pavin doing a great job Jay well this is the first drive of the game he's used the entire first quarter and nears the three minute mark here in the second Gannon stepping left does he have a dot he might have him oh it's a late throw and it's picked off Allen going the other way for Pavin and Zone interception, Pavin gets a stop and takes points off the board. Red zone turnover that is absolutely huge for Pavin. Jay Wall knows he just made a costly mistake. Now we'll see if Pavin can take advantage. And now we get to see the four time Raiders club champion Pavin on offense. And of course he reps with the 818 crew. TD, not only so many great players in 818, an established group with belt winners, but also of course, the 818, it's in honor of someone special. Oh, it is. You know, honor to our guy, True Boy, who we lost a few years ago. One of the legends of the Madden community. We always want to shout out our guys, True Boy and Spot Me Please, two of the biggest stars we've ever had in Madden. We continue to honor their legacy. 
Collabs with guys like the Madden 18 Bowl champion, Young Kiv, who continues to be a force in the Madden community. Guys like Wesley, who we saw in the final eight of this tournament. I mean, just an absolute stack. Guys like Henry, who's only, who's only played in five live MCS events and qualified for all five live finals. Uh, that, that 818 crew, TD, it's one of the best. Yeah, and it's, it, it's only fitting that both these guys are in the finals, right? Representing probably the two best crews in the world right now. I know EMB and a few others will have something to say about that, but I really think, especially TNC, they've dominated in this Madden 21 season. First attempt, first offensive drive for Bob and J Wall. Oh, he brought the hit stick to this game. Able to get the backfield, the rookie Isaiah Simmons with the hit. And we saw Pavin, you know, he won that Final Four game pretty handily, but he really struggled on offense. Hasn't been able to get it going. See if he can get it going here. That first play, great defense by Jay Wall. Deshaun Watson might be one of the hottest commodities in the NFL. Where will he end up next year? Can't get the feet inbounds. Third and 11 for Pavin. Yeah, and, and Pavin actually switched his quarterback within this last week. Most of the tournament, he was using Rich Gannon maybe Josh Allen, now he switched it to Sean Watson, who's been making some big plays for him, but right there, just couldn't get that those feet down with Darren Waller. Three-man rush, here comes the pressure, and just gets rid of it, so the defense is on both sides, standing tall, Jay Wall gonna force a three and out. That's big for Jay Wall because he threw that costly red zone pick, but then he bounces back, tightens up the defense, forces Pavin to go 0 for three, and he's gonna get the ball back. Kick is away. Ooh, just going to get a couple yards with Bo Jackson. 2.19 to go. One timeout remaining for Jay Wall. Jacob Wallach, 20 years old. Pawtucket, Rhode Island. TD, he's really done quite a job this year. He's the inaugural level next champion of uh, a college Madden tournament. Yeah, it was a big win for him, too. You know, being in that hot seat, playing for $25,000. And both these guys are just supremely confident. They ooze confidence in their Madden abilities. You saw Jay while he's really been on a tear. He feels great about his game. Gannon's stepping up. Great pocket from the 20-year-old as Steve Smith will find his way to the 33-yard line. Picks up nine. And right there is a great example of that playmaker ability. It was just a drag route to the left. It's straight man-to-man -man coverage from Pavin. That drag route going to the left. With that playmaker ability, he can move it back to the right to get that separation. It's exactly what he does. Throws it in there for a nice game. Ty, both these guys known as fluid offensive players, but I feel like these are two guys whose defenses don't get enough mention. It doesn't, and they both really improved on defense, and I think that's what's really taken them to the next level. Both these guys known for prolific offenses, Pavin running that gun bunch, Jay Wall running that trips tight end, but on defense, their adjustments have really been uh, supreme, and that's why they've gotten so much better. As Sanders gets to the outside, let's bring in the third member of our crew. One great user. User, somehow, we're still scoreless in this game for $150,000. Hey, Jay Wall put together a great opening drive. Took over eight minutes. He threw that interception, but that wasn't a bad read, Nick, because he was, he was expecting that receiver to continue running that crosser. Unfortunately, he stopped, and he threw that interception. So I'm not mad at that read. He came out, played great defense, got a three and out. And now these guys is locking up. This is supposed to be a shootout. This is supposed to be a bomb burner. But it's looking like we're going to have a slug. That's one of those uh, routes where you go back to the sidelines if you're a quarterback and you you, you pull your wide receiver aside and go, hey, man, why, why weren't you running? Big shout-out to user hopping in. Third and 18 for Jaywalk. Can Rich Gannon find a little magic? Barry Sanders on the right hip of Gannon. Randy Moss motions over to the right side. Scanning back to pass, pressure set and pressure received. Isaiah Simmons with the sack. Pavin will take a timeout. No timeouts left, but he'll have about a minute left to put points on the board. Pavin dials it up, and you know, while we're getting that great analysis from user, Jay Wall actually missed two big reads on that second down. He had the wheel to the running back. He also had the crossing route, just missed both of them. So now, <laughs> it's a defensive battle. It's crazy, because like we said, both these guys known for their offense, but neither guy taking the advantage so far. So Pavin out on offense, three and out on his first drive, TD. Did you see anything there that Pavin could maybe build on to have a more successful offensive drive? You know, not really. When he went 0 for 2 pass and he started with a run, Jay Walls looked better because he had that great first drive, got to the red zone. Pavin on his first drive, you know, the door was pretty much just shut. You know, first down run, then two incompletions. So we'll see what he can dial up here. He's got to think outside the box going up against Jay Walls' man coverage. 
wants to throw this one away. Second down at 10, 0 for 3, passing the ball. Second and 10. Moss motions out of the bunch. He's running that gun bunch offense. Bunch and trips tight end, the two most popular offenses. So Watson will throw this one away. Fun fact, ready for this? Here you go, Lions fans. The first time we've seen the Lions in a, an NFL championship game since 1957. Unfortunately, that year they beat my Cleveland Browns, which I feel like it, it, it's a kind of a rude stat. I don't even know why I brought it up. Oh, boy. You're, we're comparing Browns to Lions. You know, I, I don't know about that one, but Lions in the championship. And the thing that's cool about this game, though, too, Nick, is Pav a diehard Raiders fan who's been like that his whole life. His family, huge Raiders fans. And then you got Jay Wall, who's a diehard Lions fan. So that's the cool thing about this club championship tournament. Watson looking over the top. He has him. A laser beam to Randy Moss. Big 84, putting Pavin in scoring range. What a dot from Pavin. And the difference is versus John Beast, when he tried to throw that, he had that deep route KO, so he couldn't. J-Wall doesn't have that ability on defense. Pavin on the run, Deshaun Watson making plays. But he has no timeouts here. Clock really ticking against him with that runoff. He's going to have to go quickly. Watson rolling right, 26 seconds. He's got a man wide open. Oh, how do you forget about Darren Waller? Pavin can't believe Waller isn't dancing in the end zone. These last two plays have been so big for Pavin. He's going fast. He's getting down to the six-yard line, and he got out of bounds right there. This is huge for Pavin. What a clutch drive as he has no timeouts. Pavin will flip the bunch to the left side. Can Deshaun Watson has some red zone magic. Look to that RPO. It's a bubble screen. Weird animation for Waller. He has no timeouts. That might stop him from getting a touchdown. 11 seconds, and Pavin will play conservative. He'll spike this ball and put the first points on the board with a field goal. Yeah, that was a very risky play call because, if, you know, if he would have ran it, he could have got some yards, could have lost all the time. But unfortunately for, fortunately for him, he gets down, spikes the ball, and he's going to be able to take the lead 3-0 at halftime. So who would have thought both these two offensive juggernauts, and it's going to be 3-0 at halftime. Sanders puts the boot into the ball. The kick is up. And the Madden NFL 21 club championship has his first points on the board. It goes the way of the Raiders club champ, Pavin. Halftime here, TD. Uh, this still feels like anyone's ball game. Oh, without a doubt, still wide open. The one difference in the game is both guys playing bad on offense, but Pavin hasn't turned the ball over. Jay Wall did throw a pick. Now Pavin takes the lead going into halftime. Halftime, we have 10 minutes of game action left, and we are no closer to finding out who's going to take home the belt. Pavin has that 3 0 lead. When we come back, the stellar conclusion to this championship game. Don't go anywhere. One half remains, but we are no closer to finding out who's going to take home the prestigious Madden NFL 21 Club Championship belt. The Raiders Club champ Pavin holding a slim. 3-0 lead over the Lions Club champion, Jay Wall. It will be Pavin with the ball to start the second half. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis with you. TD, Jay Wall went on an eight-minute drive and cashed in with nothing. Could that be the difference in this game? It is so far. That hurts. You know, he had a phenomenal drive. Used a lot of the clock got all the way down to the red zone and then threw it away. Now Pavin, if he can go down and get seven, he can really open this thing up and take the big advantage. Oh, Jackson will pick up a first down off the drag route. Pavin, of course, four-time Raiders Club champion. The Raiders showing love on Twitter, tweeting that Pavin's one win away from a second Madden Club championship belt. Join Raider Nation in cheering him on. Ty, that's the best part about this tournament is the NFL teams getting involved supporting their club champs. Yeah, it's awesome to see. And you know Pavin's going to be super happy about that. You know, he's the four-time Raiders Club champion. It's one of the biggest accomplishments of his life is being able to represent his team at the highest level of Madden. We'll launch that one into row one, four of nine. Passing the ball for Pavin. It has not been easy for him to move the ball. No, it has not. You know, throughout this tournament, it's been his defense. And honestly, he's gotten a few lucky plays. And like I said, you need that luck to win a tournament. But second half here, he could really take advantage if he can get that offense going. He's got to think outside the box a little bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. That one could have been going the other way. Jaywall cannot believe he doesn't have the offense on the field. 
You can see the emotion on Jay Wall's face. He wanted that badly. A really risky read by Pavin. And now puts him in a tough third and 10. If you're Jay Wall, you gotta get off the field. Third down to 10. Let's bring in the fourth member of our broadcast crew, TD Barrett. TD, as we take a look at this third down, looking over the top, almost picked off. What did you see from the first half from these two? Obviously, it's a low scoring game, but honestly, I felt like Jay Wall moved the ball super well in the first on his first drive. He got really, really unlucky on that throw to the end zone. I don't think that was necessarily a bad read. The receiver looked like he was moving to the corner and then the receiver randomly just stopped. Um, bit of an unlucky break for him, but as you can see, he's getting stops on defense. It's gonna be interesting. The first one to score a touchdown might just win this game. Boy, by the way, if you don't subscribe to TD Barrett on YouTube, you're not one of those 1.34 million subscribers, go check him out. <laughs> Shout out to TD Barrett. Appreciate him hopping on the broadcast for these club championship final weekend. First down and 10. Gannon back to work. He'll give it to Barry Sanders. Moving outside, he got a first down and more. Inside the 40, down to the 42 yard line. Nice run for Big Barry. And you remember on Jay Wall's first drive, he went to that run a lot and he had success. He kind of stopped on the second drive. So here we go, second half. Goes back to that inside zone out of the trips tight end. Breaks off a nice one with that stop and go. You see all that space on the right side there. Because uh, Pavin's not baselining, so he has all the space out there. Goes right back to it. I love this strategy by Jay Wall. He should keep pounding that inside zone and cutting to the outside. You know, Madden 20, very much a runner's game, TD. You talk about one of the biggest changes. This is more of a passer's game. And that run, it's so tough to get yards. A 5.7 run per carry. That's huge in here in Madden 21 as Barry Sanders will pick up a couple. Yeah, and that was a nice little battle inside the game right there. You see Jay Wall stop, tried to wait, patience. Pavin said, no thank you, sir. Came with the hit stick, blew it up in the backfield. Manageable third and six here, though, for Jay Wall. The whole playbook's open. He can honestly even go back to that inside zone if he wants to, but I think he's going to air it out. Third and six. Back into that trips tight end. Darren Waller on the right side of the formation. Moss McLaurin and Steve Smith from right to left. Now McLaurin motions over to the right side. Got him. He's going to take a shot. He has him. Randy Moss walk into the end zone. 84 roasted to the defense like it's a Thanksgiving turkey. Randy Moss making big plays happen in the championship game for J. Wall. What a play call. The fade row beats the man-to-man -man coverage, and J. Wall takes the lead. All it takes is one defensive breakdown, and you know that the Viking legend Randy Moss will take advantage of that. It's a 7-3 ball game. You see Jay Wall, he's fired up too now. Look at the emotion on his face. He knows how big that was. Randy Moss, that's the beautiful thing about Madden Ultimate Team. You can get the legend Randy Moss on your team. What a big play right there from Jay Wall. Let's take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. How often have you seen Randy Moss beat one-on-one -on -one coverage right off the rip? Just absolutely toast Eric Allen to the outside on that streak, and Jay Wall is absolutely stoked about it. Let's see what sort of answer Pavin has. He'll start off. Former Auburn Tiger, Bo Jackson, picks up a first down. Yeah, and the one thing we know about Pavin, this kid is tough. This kid's resilient. He knows how to bounce back. It's a big drive in the game right here. Third quarter kind of winding down. Pavin's going to make some plays. One of only three people to win his club four years in a row. Looking left side. There's Bo. And he'll get out of bounds. So starts off this drive with two first downs. It's a lot better than his offense was doing in the first half. Yeah, it is. That's a nice little check down right there. Going to that bunch tight end formation. It was zone coverage. Checks down to the little running back route. He's 5 for 12 right now passing, so he's not very efficient. But that doesn't matter at this point. you got to get these things uh, going down the field. Think outside the box. I love the play call right there. A motion Moss out of the bunch on first down. Stepping right with Watson. He'll throw this one away. Jay Wall, that chess match. Defense here in Madden. It's all about adjustments. All about adjustments. Second half, too, especially. You got to start, you know, doing some different things. Using those new coaching adjustments, brand new in Madden 21. Adjusting your sliders for your zones. You can also man up some guys. CJ while mixing up his coverages. But that mobility for Deshaun Watson, very important. Allowed Pavin to roll out right, throw that thing away. Second and 10. Watson looks left. And he finds the 85 Heisman Trophy winner. One more time. That's three big plays for Bo Jackson on this drive. Goes right back to that play. He's having a lot of success with it. Bo Jackson out of the backfield. A lot of space over there on that bunch side. Zones jumping back. 
and Pavin should keep going back to that. I'd probably expect maybe a run call here on this third and one. Look for that base out of bunch. We'll see if he goes to uh, this flood concept. Watson stepping right, and this time they'll find the second year player out of Ohio State, Terry McLaurin. First down for the Raiders club champ. He's finding some offensive rhythm for the first time today. Yeah, he's starting to gain some confidence, starting to get some momentum. Goes with that flood concept to the bunch side, but he just checks down to Terry McLaurin on that little underneath route. Uses the playmaker, picks up a nice first down. Yuba City, California native, Pavan Lockhart. On first down, he'll give it to Bo. No room up the middle, maybe a half a yard. And the clock is really starting to go down here. It looks like we're gonna have two, maybe three plays max here left in this third quarter. You know Pavin's thinking seven. I, I think he could potentially go for this. And it's four down territory unless it's a, a deep fourth down, but if it's close, he might go for this in four down territory. Steps right, he'll throw this one away. Third down and 10. How many times have we seen in this tournament alone, not let alone across Madden, and people get too aggressive when they're in scoring range? Yeah, we saw it on Jay Wall's first drive, right? You know, the read wasn't bad, but those type of things happen. You can't make any mistakes here. If you're Pavin, no mistakes. You gotta. You don't want to lose field goal range either. You can't take a sack in this situation. Third down and 10. Here goes Watson, back to pass. Waiting, he's got all sorts of time. He can set up a launch chair if he wants. That offensive line doing hard work. Watson will try to take off, but J Wall's defense finally gets there. Jamal Adams with the sack. Amazing pocket presence by Pavin, but just great defense by J Wall. He waited, finally got the sack. Just nothing open. Everything was blanketed. And I like Pavin kicking this field goal before the end of the third quarter. Save as much time as possible. 7 6 the score. Pavin cuts into that lead. This game, it's the difference between getting threes and getting sevens. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's coming down here. We'll see Pavin's got to play some defense. He's been playing good defense. Jay Wall got to get another drive going. Good drive by Pavin, though, staying in the game. I know he wanted seven, but still, about to head to the fourth quarter, and we still have no idea who's going to win this. We saw Jay Wall on that last drive has some success. Bouncing that shotgun, that inside zone run back to the right. We'll see if he goes back to that well. As the pressure ramps up, largest prize pool in MCS history, $750,000 awarded in this multi-month tournament. As zeros hit the clock in the third, we will head to the fourth. Fours up everywhere. It's our Snickers fourth quarter. It's presented by Snickers. Maybe you just need a Snickers. It's 7-6. We're five minutes away from crowning the champ, TD. There we go. This is the potential put-away drive, as I like to call it for J-Wall. If he can go down there, use a lot of this clock, and get seven, make this an eight-point game, that would be huge with the way he's playing defense. Second and long. Again, a quick throw. Oh, what a read. He knew he had McLaurin with no one over top of him, and he picks up a first down. Great play design by Jay Wall, and that's the chess match part of competitive Madden. He mo uses motion, which he loves to do in this trip set, gets that streak wide open. Pavin didn't adjust with him, left it open. Jay Wall throws it in there. He'll take that completion all day long. Looking at the seam, wide open. Agent 89, Steve Smith to the 41 yard line, and Jay Wall is only about a yard or two outside of field goal range. Jay Wall starting to cook with sauce right now throwing lasers, dots all over the field. That time, Steve Smith with the playmaker cuts it up, gets a first down. I think as they say in Rhode Island, that's sauce. He's cooking with sauce. First and 10. Again, wide open once again. There's Barry Sanders inside the 20. And you can see the confidence rising for the youngster out of Rhode Island. He's really starting to feel it. Pavin getting a little in desperation mode, starting to bring more heat, going to that zone, leaving things open. Jay Wall taking advantage, making great reads. Now Jay Wall will slow the pace down. Hands off to Barry. We'll stop and go. He'll pick up four. Yeah, I'm impressed. Jay Wall in the biggest game of his Madden career. He's really came to play. He's performing well, especially on a very crucial drive in the game here. That clock continues to tick away. This game absolutely flying by. Second and six. Bunch to the left side. A bunch tight end formation for J-Wall. He'll drop back to pass with Gannon. 
Pressure picked up nicely. Throws back across his body. He's got Smith inside the five. Stumbling and bumbling down to the one yard line. Steve Smith has Jay Wall on the precipice of a touchdown. That was absolutely filthy. He rolled right, kind of stumbled a little bit, then threw it back across his body with the playmaker, able to pick up uh, a bunch of yards right there, get it down to the one. And here we go now. Does, can J Wall punch this in, make it difficult, or does Pavin have a goal line stand in him? Snaps it, gives it to the Swiss Army Knife. Marcel Reese can't get into the end zone, but could that be a good play for J Wall's more clock? Bleeds off. Yo, it's good, but he's gonna have to hike it one more time before that two minute warning. Pavin and those timeouts might start to come in play eventually here. We'll see if J Wall can punch this in before the two minute warning. He'll give it to Reese, and Reese will power his way into the end zone like a bulldozer moving through the line. Marcel Reese puts J Wall up by seven, pending the extra point. Could that have been a potential $150,000 clinching touchdown? That was huge to go up eight, put the pressure on Pop, and you saw J Wall lip the, lip the words one stop. He needs one defensive stop to win that belt. All the pressure goes on Pavin for a money drive. Ty, talk about the unsung heroes in the game of Madden. At the end of the day, I don't know how many people expected that J Wall could have still a lot of time left, but could have won this tournament with a run by the fullback Marcel Reese. <laughs> right? That Marcel Reese, an absolute weapon in Madden Ultimate Team. Guys have been using him the whole tournament. Could it be won by Marcel Reese? We'll find out, but it comes down to Pavin's offense. He struggled all day long, but this is the glory drive. This is the guap drive. He needs eight points. He's got plenty of time. 2.14 has the entire complement of timeouts and the two-minute warning. Watson will look left. That's Terry McLaurin. Remember back when we were doing all the club games? We talked about how there wasn't a lot of speed at wide receiver. He didn't have too many outside of McLaurin. Now, the speed is there inside the ultimate team. Oh, no doubt about it. Weapons all over the field. I mean, just look at his offense. Randy Moss, Steve Smith, Terry McLaurin, three legends in the NFL and three of the fastest players in the game. Jay Wall will use his first timeout of the second half. 2.08 left. As Watson on second and one, waiting, looking. Tries a playmaker, just no one open. Great defense downfield by Jay Wall. It's just phenomenal defense by Jay Wall. I know Pavin wanted to pull the trigger a few times right there, had a couple things, but he stays patient, throws it away. That was a great decision by Pavin. Third in the yard. Look at right side, feet in bounds. Fancy feet like Fred Astaire. Randy Moss with a first down as we hit the two minute warning. Jay Wall decides to bring some heat right there, mix it up. Pavin sees it, reads the defense well, throws a little out route to the receiver. And Pavin is one of the clutchest players in the Madden community. There's a short list of guys that if they're if you're in this situation, Pavin's at the top of the list that you want to be able to give you a chance. 43-yard line. Here goes Bo. How about Pavin going to the run game? He'll pick up eight. And the drama's starting to build here, getting under two minutes. Remember, Pavin does need a two-point conversion to tie this thing, so not just the touchdown, he's also got to convert that. But first, you got to get that touchdown. Watson, looking for the playmaker. I'll throw this one to the popcorn vendor in row one. Jay Wall, I mean, Pavin is one of the most prolific passers, comes from one of the best crews when it comes to developing passing routes. He's 9 of 20 today. Yeah, he's really struggling. Like you said, he's some he's some of the best. He's one of the best players when it comes to passing. He uses great concepts, great route combos, good spacing. He knows how to read the defense well, can disguise coverages. But J Wall is just doing an excellent job on defense, forcing Pavin to be nine for twenty. Under a minute and a half to go. Pavin still has all three timeouts. Third and two. Watson. Two-man rush, curl route, oh, that one was close, but Moss able to make the catch. Gannon rifled that one in there. And we haven't seen Pavin really run that play all tournament. He goes with the spacing, couple underneath hitches, had the post route to the slot receiver, checks it down to that low ball hitch. And it's seven, and counting. Watson rolling left, tight window, throw! Picked off by Jay Wall, and Pavin cannot believe that he couldn't find a receiver. 
over. Jay Wall might have just sealed himself a belt with that pick. Jay Wall's defense comes through yet again. A potential $150,000 interception. He Pavin throws the corner route to the tight end. Jay Wall jumps it, throws it. You see Jay Wall trying to take a deep breath. He knows that he is one first down potentially away from winning his first ever Madden Championship. No panic from Pavin. First and ten. Oh, Barry! Barry doing for Detroit! Galloping Barry Sanders, ten, and he'll fall down at the five. And Jay Wall might have just sealed himself the belt with the Detroit Lions legend, Barry Sanders. We have a new Madden champion. History knocked on the door, and Jay Wall answered. He is now crowned the best Madden player in the world. Wow. First down and goal. Victory formation, the sweetest formation. Pavin isn't even going to take a timeout. And here in Madden 21, TNC stands for the next champ. Jay Wall is your $150,000 Madden NFL 21 club champion. Just like that. From level next to level now. Jay Wall repping the Lions brings a title to Motown. Just amazing. The hottest player in the game continues his hot streak. He's the best Madden player in the world. $150,000 and the Madden Club Series champion. What a game. Jay Wall will win his first belt. He's able to take down the four time Raiders Club champ. Congrats to Jay Wall on his first belt. When we come back, more coverage from the Madden NFL 21 Club Championship.